Hi there, it's Pastor John, and I have a story for you. It is one of the earliest stories in our church. It is the story of creation. When God spoke and created the world in the beginning, that's pretty close to the earliest that we can do in the beginning. It's kind of like where you wake up in the morning and they say, in the morning. Well, yes, it's in the morning. In the beginning, God created that story, which is the first reading for today that you'll hear in a bit. That first reading, every, and that story, throughout the story, God creates each day and then God says, it was good. And God creates some more. And God says, it was good. God creates some more and God says, it is good. And then at the end of the creation story, God looks around and God says, it is very good. <laughs> One good wasn't good enough. God looks around and says, it is very good. It is amazing. Now, this Sunday is a Sunday that we call Trinity Sunday. And it's where we talk about there's God, the Creator. There's God, the Son, God as Jesus, God the Forgiver. And God, the Holy Spirit, where the breath and the wind moves over the waters and the spirit that we heard about in Pentecost and the spirit that works in all of us and in the waters of baptism when God said, you are my child. We, we see those things and this is a Sunday where we try to figure out how do we explain that and that is a hard thing to explain. So some days I don't even try to explain it. I just rest, sit back and I rest and I, I think about what it tells me about God. And it tells me that our God loves us enough that our God comes to us in so many different ways. Comes to us as the Creator, as God the Father. Comes to us as the Forgiver, as God the Son, and comes to us as the one that carries us and helps us, we call that the advocate or the sanctifier. Big words that means the helper or the one that will wrap their arms around us. God the Spirit. But you know what it also tells me? is that It tells me that God loves us so much that God wants to know us. I, I brought something I wanted to show you. I, I've got to turn my phone on because i got to turn on the light. And then I got to make sure I've got this right. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. And see, you see that? You might not be able to tell what that is, but that is a D. And there's a light shining through it. And I use that because this here is D light. D light. God takes delight in us. God loves us. I'm trying to shut off the light so it don't blind me. There we are. God takes delight in you and me. That word delight, rejoice, overjoyed. I, this is just plain. <laughs> the light shine through its delight. But no, God takes delight in you. God loves you so much that God will come to you in so many different ways. And God says, I want to know you. Just like in creation, God looked around and said, it is good. And when God looked at all of the things that God created, including you, God said, it is very good. There are days that we can forget that. There are days when I mess up. There are days when I stumble, when I fall, and I can forget that God created me good. I'm here to remind you that God loves you, God created you, and God takes 
delight in you. You are loved. Miss you so much. I am so glad that we can do this together. And I look forward to seeing you again. God loves you. The congregation, the church loves you. I love you. You are delightful. God created you. Very, very good. I will see you later. I can't wait for that day. Peace. Bye.